to once human everybody in today's video i'm going to show you how to set up your eternal land and how to invite other players in order to be able to pvp most duels or just if you want to 1v1 someone you can do that in eternal land just like this of course as you can see it's pretty small but you have many options and you can build anywhere you want in this eternal land as long as you have enough sand which is obtained only in eternal land instead of using normal resources here you will be using astral sand and to get astral sand well you need to find resources in eternal land such as blueberries you can plant them just like that and wait till they grow most of the stuff you will get here is by demolishing leftover buildings that exist in eternal land which I already demolished everything. This island is completely empty. The only thing I have left here is the sky base here. As you can see, there's some berries here. They don't give as much astral sand, but the other way to get astral sand is if you press F8 and you can get yourself some bait. And then obviously you can make a bench to craft fishing rods right here. And after that, just start fishing. Once you fish enough or you want to sell something to get astral sand, you click F8, click island shop and click sell. And here you will be able to get actual sand for these berries and there it is right there if you click on order which is on this tab here you have tasks to do they basically want you to gather any items that is listed here that's what you need to gather and then once you have that item in eternal land you click submit and you will get this extra light if you don't like the offer i guess you can do delete and a new one will appear in 15 minutes if you click f8 again click island shop and click purchase click on this there is this time space canvas teleporting facility in eternal land i don't really know what this is but basically you can buy all sorts of things in here decorations and stuff and you're free to build here anything as you can see as long as you still have astral sand you can also craft weapons here that uses astral sand now first you have to do all these tasks here in order to get the main reward which is this time space canvas you might be wondering what is eternal land well this area is going to be used for your base when the season ends so for example when the season ends over here we get on the sixth category here the season's gonna be ending we have like let's say one day left and then everything that you've gathered in the real world which is outside of the eternal land will be gone and everything will transfer here instead and it will stay here forever so for now we don't have many stuff here and this will not be in the beta test but once the game globally releases everything will stay here and get transferred and you will be able to move some items here if you click f8 again here you can see you have tools consumables materials all of that stuff here you will be able to transfer it back to the real world from the eternal land i don't have anything here yet because obviously the game just started but you can also transfer from the real world to eternal land but that's not really implemented i think yet to really get into this island all you need to do is press escape and right here eternal land all you need to do is just click it and you can click enter eternal land you can also see some other options like this this just shows stuff you can transfer to but that's again not available yet but once you enter eternal land you can then click escape again click eternal land click manage eternal land and here you can manage permissions for people that are in your eternal land, which is visiting you. Or you can manually invite them and click invite here. Visitors, this shows who have visited you previously. So here, building rules, it says in eternal land, you don't have stability. So your buildings will never collapse. You can build as much as you want. As you saw before, we had this stairs going here. There's visitor rules. If you don't want people to come to you, or if you want only friends or only invite or whatever the settings is well you can choose that the island access code this is probably to share the code when it's cross-platform server so if you want to like when you want a player or you want someone to visit your island from a cross server well you can give them this code and they have to click escape with that code click eternal end click here and paste the code in here and it should appear the island the island should appear and then you click enter eternal end or you can just probably have yourselves in the friends list so if you click escape eternal end manage eternal end click guest permissions here you can set who has permissions to do what and what not so for example right here this guy right here anno segal prohibited to go come and go freely he can ha he has ability to freedom to build is prohibited and he can use facilities 
which means if you give the permissions to use facilities, they will be able to use these benches and craft whatever they need. Do note that they will use their own sand they have, not your sand, so you will not be affected. They will be only able to craft stuff. Next thing is, let's go to Eternal Land again, Manage Eternal Land, guest permissions. Back to the Manage Eternal Land. You can set the weather here, whether you want thunderstorm, sand, or whatever, you can set night, dusk. You can also turn off PvP here, or you can turn on PvP. Weapons, allow any weapon, melee weapon, or nothing. And you can obviously allow it to summon vehicles. HP, you can put this to locked so you people never die. There's energy locked, you get the point. You will basically never die here. Now, I don't know why you would want hydration on here. You're basically gonna need to eat here. There's no point. You're gonna be wasting your sand if you do that. But that's about it. You set these rules here, you wanna PvP or not, and then all you can do is start building your arena or your base, your training grounds here, and start PvPing with your friends. Host tournaments, go crazy, host clan wars, I don't know, up to you if you're bored. This is a really cool feature, and I hope in the future they will be able to make this infinite resources, because there's no point to add sand in here. Why should it cost anything to make anything in here? But this island is more like of a creative mode, and you can get really creative in this island. Well, that's really all I got for you guys today, and I hope you enjoy this. Get creative, share your island codes in the comment section. Maybe I can even visit it sometime. Maybe we can even gather a lot of people in the island and make something cool out of it. I don't know. I'll see you guys soon again in another Once Human video. Thanks for watching. Take care and peace out. <laughs>